Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Noob. I have returning once again, Bianca. Hi, yeah. And this one, I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. It's become one of my new favorite books. And that is Doomsday Clock. What was meant to be the wrap up of Rebirth. And it's, in my opinion, a really good follow up to Watchmen. Done by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank before they went on to do Geiger and all that. And much, and now, what is your experience with Doomsday Clock, if any? That it happened. And that it was supposed to be after Rebirth, but also restarting the universe or something like that. It was supposed to fix things and explain what happened since New 52. Ah. Yeah. So, um, now, much like Watchmen, you do know the, what was always to say about Watchmen with their cover. The cover was always the first panel. That's weird. Case, well, look, the end is near, and then we get over to the main, um, ah, jeez. What the hell? Mmm, pancakes. <laughs> wait, uh, you saw, wait. Then see, right there, then, we go right back to that first, it basically matches up with the first cover. November 22nd, 1992, or maybe it's the 23rd. Streets were and late lettered with bodies, brains boiled over by grotesque nightmares of fictional invaders. Clocks started over. We had a chance, but they blew it. All of them, the undeplorable, screamed to hear themselves, deaf in, in their echo chambers, blooming the other and blaming the other side for what they have instead of who they are. Their tolerance is a one-way street. While the to totalitarians stand their ground, covering their eyes, preaching for a return to the rose-colored republic. Unaware that for these and those not like them, the good old days weren't so good. Depends on your perspective. God turned his back, left paradise to us, like handing a five-year-old a straight razor. We slid open the world's belly. Secrets come spilling out, an intestine full of truth and shit strangled us. Uh, soon the bugs will be all that's left. One uh, and the cockroaches will go to war with the maggots, fighting over the scraps of the moderates. Then they'll eat and eat themselves and finally choke, unless we bring God back down, kicking and screaming because maybe we maybe we don't deserve it. Maybe the world should burn this time. We shattered the American dream. This is the American nightmare. And much like with Jeff Johns, he's always been politically neutral in a lot of his writing. Ooh. And you can definitely tell here he's calling out both sides mm -hmm. of the extremes. And um, in this case, we have to say, we're still waiting a statement from the president, golf course. Yeah. <laughs> um, and basically, we find out that people found out the truth. Word had finally leaked out the truth about what Ozzy Mandeus did during Watchmen. You know, I mean, okay. you, you, you've at least seen the movie or read the book. No. Watchmen, right? No. No. You at least know what happened, right? Was the big tentacle, you know, the um, big tentacle monster, the squid monster? Uh, <sighs> I know there was one. The ending, he used it to bring about world peace because it made people think there was an alien invader. Of course, he had to set, kill a lot of people to do it. The tentacle monster was the good guy? No. Oh. It was the bad guy. No, no. Ozzy created the tentacle monster as a fake alien invader. Oh. So that everyone would, um, would you know, unite together to want to stop it. Okay. Yeah, and um, but but now the great truth, everything's been revealed, and now everything is going, you know, it's um, it's falling to going to hell. And when we see here, it looks like we start, we start to think that maybe Ozzy has a um, cancer or a brain tumor. Ooh. Um, then we're seeing, meanwhile, um, like basically everything's counting down to nuclear war. We shall have war. War with war. everybody. Good. What is it it's good, good for? for? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. Uh-huh. Take it now. <laughs> but yeah, but then we see someone not, this guy's like, give me the goddamn keys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. You still want out? No, no way, man. I'm cool. Stomach groans. I'm hungry. 
So yeah, we have a new Rorschach. New? The other one died? At the end of the original story, he got killed by Dr. Manhattan to help keep, because he was going to blab. He was going to reveal to everyone about what Ozzy had done. And to keep the lie, um, Manhattan killed him. What wasn't known that he had act that Rorschach had actually left his journal that actually connected all, a lot of the dots to Ozzy and he sent it to a small newspaper. And that's what led to everything being outed here. Mm -hmm. It took a while, but eventually it got out. Now he's here looking for something as missiles are ready to get to be launched. Um, he didn't find someone. Eric Manson, the marionette, Rorschach. Have three hours, 36 minutes before prison becomes ash. Maybe less. And watch run slow. Meant to fix. It can't be. Don't want flesh burned up bones. Come with me. Come with you? You said you threw me down an elevator shaft the next time we met. Ha ha. Funny. But it wasn't me. Not same guy. Different. Different. Mm. Prove it. Prove it. Tired of proving. Mm. Reveals he's a black guy. <laughs> Like, you're out of your goddamn mind dressing like that. Rorschach finds you. I am Rorschach. Where I put it. Here. Payment. For what? Job. It's sticky. Syrup. Rough morning. <laughs> you do sound a little like him from what I remember. So where's the real R Rorschach? He dead? They say he killed himself. And they say he killed himself. That right? Picture's a little old. But you come with me. Do job. Find out where boy is. Deal. Where's my son? Don't yell. Don't know. Partner does. Do what he asks. Do what? Do what? What do you want? Find God. Save world. We'll explain. Find God? We'll explain. But need to hurry. Three hours, 34 minutes. Probably less. Definitely less. Watch run slow. Thought I mentioned. Do do job. Then see your son. If you're if you're lying about him, God damn it! I'll tear your balls off. So you're coming. Not without my husband. Husband? No, bad man, not part of the deal. It's the both of us, or you can shove your deal up your ass. Rather not, need to go. World dying. The world, and the hell with the world. So, yeah, basically they go find the mime. And then soon we see these other guys beating up, wanting to unlock the doors to him. Hey, Billy, the mute's giving you the evil eye. What, what are you looking at? You got something to say? You, uh, you know, mimes never say nothing. He looks like he's got something to say. So say it. Come on. Speak, freak. He can't. And he can't. Never makes a sound. Now, he'll make a sound. Hold him. Baby. Shit. You see that? That's not him, is it? Come on. We're leaving. I know you're in the middle of a performance, but we got to go. Performance. He likes to play the underdog. Then bam. And bum, 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 bum. The big traumatic turn. Oh, and he kills them all. No time for games. Hush. He doesn't like people talking during his act. Uh, yeah. And of course, like, t uh, check this out. This ain't even the real Rorschach. I am Rorschach. Take off your glove again. No. And don't touch hat. Touch again, Anne. He wants us for a job. Yes. Need to leave. Right now. Uh -huh. What's that? Performing again? He's missing his weapons. They're in lockup. We'll get them new ones. They're very special weapons. Not much time left. Three hours in. No idea, really. He's not leaving without him, and I'm not leaving without him. <clears throat> Your weapons, where are they? Must have cleaned you out. Need to go. You have big problems. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're heading on over there, and eventually... Like, Everything, again, it's going to hell and all that. Um, you going to tell us where we're going now? No. Why not? Don't remember. Wait, what? Don't remember. Was it left or right? Don't point imaginary guns at me. Wasn't funny the first time. Let me tell you how this go is going to go, Rorschach. You're going to take us to your partner. He's going to tell us where our son is, or we're going to pull your tongues out of your mouth. That's what happened to your husband. Someone take a pair of pliers and reach in. He did, and he did. So no more games, all right? All right. Right. That's right. Going this way. Where? Into the light. No way. We know where we are, baby. Look at all this shit. 
That's the owl ship. Archie. This is Night Owl with Pad, right? Where is he? Or are the rumors true? What rumors now? That Rorschach killed Night Owl and Six Becker before he offed himself. Nope, not true. They're just in hiding. False. Put Screwdriver down. So he's alive. You partnered up with Night Owl? No, he's not. I know, I know he's not. I hope to lure Night Owl back, but he's retired. Rorschach's working for me. Well, with you, with you, with you, never for. Ozzy Mandeus, hello and welcome. I see you brought your husband along. Disappointing, I, but I expect, but expected. I doubted, doubted Rorschach could persuade you otherwise. I don't know what you, I, I don't know what you want with us. I only need you, truthfully. Me then. But if you know where our son is, you'll tell us right now, or we kill you and this pretender. And I'm betting we collect a shitload of money for it. What's the price on your head anyway? Ten million? Twenty? Oh, I would think quite a bit more, Mrs. Manson. I'm happy to pay you for your participation. A hundred million. Two of that sounds better, along with the whereabouts of your son. But no more threats. They're ill-advised, particularly with him. The first, the first Rorschach was an interesting man, cruel one in some respects, but someone who held on to his principles. He was predictable, un uncompromising. But this one, stop. Rorschach, I'm paying you a compliment. Shut up, fight. I am Rorschach. Nothing else to tell. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm not upset. Not yet. Let's go and let's start over here. All right. And, and basically, yeah, they're basically trying to feel like that they need to go find um, Dr. Manhattan, wherever he went to after he left during the events of, um, after the events of um, the first one. And the first, yeah, the first, um, you know, was Watchmen. So he then feels like, um, like he's showing up that he's in great pain and everything. And he says, yeah, he has cancer, world's going to hell, and the only one who can stop it is Manhattan. So that's their mission. They're going to head out there. Meanwhile, we see in the DC universe, um, Superman, and we see Superman, um, yeah, just laying down. Wait, yeah, that is Superman. <laughs> and um, he's remembering with uh, Ma and Pa. He's remembering the night they died. Aww. When they had a car crash, it happened. This is playing off of what Grant Morrison had done. And then we see him with Lois. They're waking up. And um, this is the, um, this was after Rebirth. So this is, of course, the married Superman, Lois. Okay. And he, and he says, like, I can't remember the last time you had a nightmare. Lois, um, I don't think I've ever had one. What? <laughs> um, yeah, he's never had a nightmare. Like, that's what they're implying. I, I, I find that kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. Like when you say something something like that where he's never had a nightmare before, that makes me think like he's some sort of freaking puppy. Oh my gosh, you have never had a nightmare before? Oh, mm. see, summer child, and I'm like, no, that just that makes it sound weird to me. <laughs> So, yep. Um, so, yeah, dedicated to Len Wein, who had passed away. He was the editor of the original Watchmen. And he had passed Aww. away by this point. We brought, I brought it up during the Commandi Challenge. But, yeah, here's some of the extra material. They always do this at the end of Watchmen books. We say, see stuff about, um, like, Mr. Brian Lewis, who was um, the, the moss and all that. You know, the Duke here disarmament stalls. What happened was Rorschach. Mm -hmm. And um, just a sec. Um, but yeah, next cover, we see a bunch of their clothes laid out. This is them already putting their clothes on. You know, of their outfits and everything. And we're getting a bit of flashbacks to what happened um, years ago. This is back, this, the flashbacks are back when, um, um, back when Manhattan was still 
being more of a superhero. Is that the blue guy? Yeah, the blue guy. Oh. Yep, and you can definitely tell that these two, Mime and Marionette, are very much like, they're almost this world equivalent of the Joker and Harley, almost. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, they're putting their make their their um, makeup on and all that. And happy Monday! It's Wednesday. Whatever. Is that a gun in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to be a hero. No one needs to get hurt unless you don't listen. Please, I didn't do anything. I. And what do you? I oh. Tsh, what do you want? Just tell me what you want. What a nice picture. Aw, he's very cute. I bet he loves his mother very much. And I bet his mother loves him. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Don't speak. Just look. Look. Look at look at who in here can open the vault. Thanks a lot, Julia. Doesn't matter, though. No one can open it. The vault's on a timer. It won't unlock until delivery tomorrow morning. Julia, is that true? Yes. No. Mr. Langwood's lying. He can open it. Jesus Christ, and look, and Julia, for God's sake, he's pointing a freaking finger at your empty head. When this is all over, you are fired. What? No, no, please, Mr. Mango. I need this job. Then you should have kept your fat mouth shut. And I bet you're like, like, oh, that's quite enough. Slices off the finger. Ugh. I know, I know. My slicing string cuts deep, but it could have been much worse. Be glad it was your finger. So how do you open the vault? Do you know the code? Have the key? No, hand reader. Oh, uh, oops. Which hand? <laughs> Shit. Did anyone see where his finger went? <laughs> okay, that's funny, isn't it? That is funny. I love that. Oh, uh, she's like, Shit. Now, <laughs> boy, I, you probably know that they're using the nine paddle grid. That's, that's what they did in Watchmen. That's what they do here. Okay. You know what that means, right? And then, like, it no. basically. <laughs> the nine paddle grid is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh, is that what that's called? Okay. Yep, and then they would merge the panels if they need to, but it's still part of the grid. Okay, cool. And then soon, Doctor Manhattan shows up. Wow, nice briefs. Wait, don't kill him. You don't kill him without killing me. What? What are you staring at? Bum, bum, bum. So she was pregnant at the time. What is it? There's no way. Out. Everything's, I guess, it is them when they finally, they surrender, they, when they were taken in. And um, I know John intimately well, physically and emotionally. I manipulated him into leaving Earth once before. Now I need to convince him to come back. Should have gotten just intraspecific. Always wanted to meet her. Lori wouldn't. Trust you. Seeing her with Dan could upset him. Marinette represents a moment in John's past. One that I can use to remind him of who he was. The screening, the screen, something's interfering with playback. Are the four hours up? Are the nukes in the air? Sorry, watch it slow. I thought, I thought you were going to fix it. There are billions of people out there. Everyone, basically, yeah, they're starting to take off as the nukes are finally coming in. Oh. There goes uh, New York. Mr. Wayne. Oh, it's New York. Uh, I see a boat. Okay, Mr. White, and this one, Mr. Wayne. Now I see a yacht. A yacht? Yes, I see a yacht. Oh, geez. What does that look like? His parents. Bruce, Martha, and, uh, oh, John, and, okay. uh, and Thomas. All right. I'm bad at this stuff. <laughs> well, think about it. Look at that. Just look at that. Bruce is the there. first thing would have been um, a person in a dress to me. Yep, and then a, a speedboat. Mr. Wayne, is there something Wait, in your mind? Wait, that's a speedboat? It's a bat, but he doesn't want to admit it to this guy. Oh, okay. Looks like a moth to me. <laughs> yep. And basically, he's then saying, you know, like, um, he's basically like, I've got a friend waiting for me at the harbor, and I've been sitting here talking to you for the last two hours. She's been waiting at least that long. I don't want to, I don't like to keep my friends waiting. It's rude. So can you stamp approve or whatever it is you need to do so I can be on my way? <laughs> Meanwhile, we're having a bunch of, basically by this point, a bunch of stuff has been going on that's been turning people on Batman that has been um, also building up to this other stuff with um, the possible notion that the government created superheroes. 
Like uh, the boys. Yeah. Meanwhile, we see... Uh, oh, that looks chilling, doesn't it? The bat symbol then having the eyes. Oh, uh, yeah. I love that, actually. They crash. Rorschach? Rorschach, it's me, Ozzy Mendez. M Mandez, Vite, kill you. No, no. We made an agreement, remember? Reggie! Where? What happened? I did what I said I would. I brought us to the universe Dr. Manhattan traveled to. Now you and I have to find him. We? What about them? What? What are you? Hey! What the hell's going on? Chained up like you should be. Eat shit, dickhead! You kiss her with that mouth. Let us loose, Vite. We agreed we agree to help you two assholes, didn't we? Yes, you did. And I appreciate that more than I care to express at the moment. But I need some objective assurance that both you and the mine will stay put while Rorschach and I locate John. Er? Given who you are, I'm certain you can understand my precautions. Well, poor girl. I hope the trip wasn't too unsetty, uh, upsetting. I need to use the bathroom. Why bring Cat? Leave Pet here with other animals. She's more than a pet, Rorschach. She's the compass. Where are we now? On an earth that appears not entirely unlike ours. Maybe it is ours. Flew in sky, crashed back down on ground. You've done it mm -hmm. before. Nathaniel Dust Marathon continues. Carver Coleman at the PI was nothing left to lose. <laughs> GBC will be airing those films unedited and uninterrupted, including the controversial and award-winning picture The Adjournment, directed by Jacques Turner on 19, in 1954. It was the final film in the Nathaniel Dust series, released after Carver Coleman was killed. His death remains one of Hollywood's most brutal unsolved murders. We'll find out about that. The city is called Gossam. Gossam? Yes, I know. It appears this world is years ahead of ours in some ways, beyond us in others. We have quite a bit to catch up on. Where do we start? With Hemingway, Wolf, and My uh, Mayakovsky in the Gossam City Library. I don't, and oh yeah, they're going through everything and they're soon finding out about, although there are vast differences between our Earths, the greatest divergence, the sheer number of men and women wearing masks, including some who are entirely fictional in our world. Fictional in our world? Maybe Manhattan created them. Or he could be one of them. Change name, change look, change name. It's possible. Yes, John may have wanted to start over with a new identity, a second chance. Second chance at what? At saving a world. Those wearing costumes, most of them are superhuman. The Dr. Manhattan problem a hundredfold. And then he's soon looking at Lex Luthor and Bruce Wayne. We go to them, explain who we are and why we're here to help and get and, and try and get help too. Story sounds crazy. Not any crazier than this place. Split up. Save time. Yes, that's right. Which one do you want? The smartest, of course. Meaning he thinks that's what Lex is, whereas he goes there and he finds um good morning bruce but uh, he made a bunch of pancakes for um alfred made them for bruce <laughs> oh, yeah, those pancakes are mine now <laughs> and he ate them <gasps> that punk and he soon he find realized there's something behind the clock and he goes there and he makes his way into the back cave uh, but please don't return me to arkham they make me worse see told you well, that's because you read it before, Cheetah. Well, even, even, I know. Oh, but then soon gets in. You know, he knows someone's in the um the back cave. You're all fired. Uh, well, um, let's go. I personally only will go missing. I will end. Oh this shoot! I thought point. it says we'll go passing. <laughs> I know, but I don't. I'm like missing. Excuse me. How did you get in here? I let myself in. I admire your taste, Mister Loser. And your aspiration. Who are you? Assault. What? It looks like he's being assaulted in that picture. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I'm the smartest man on Myers. And you're the smartest man on yours. Never mind. And security will show you out before I terminate them for allowing you in. If I could get a moment of your time. Oh, you have it. Feel free to appease my curiosity until they get here. Smartest man. I'm bored and it's goddamn hot. Uh, uh, yes, I could use a drink. Did you bring your lockpick? <coughs> oh! My world was spiraling out of control. Went into the depths of humanity's fear, searching for something beyond horror. Spent years of I had planned that I hoped would unite the countries and people, though at a cost. 
So let me see if I'm understanding you correctly. You dissected a psychic's bra and brain and listed the morally bankrupt minds of artists and writers from the likes of Hollywood and comic books and created an alien invader that murdered three million people to unite the world. Yes, and you're surprised that humanity hasn't stayed united? You're the smartest man on your planet. I'd hate to meet the dumbest! <laughs> your opinion of my intelligence matters little, Mr. Lucer. I mean it because I know your ambitions. I shared them at one point in my life. And if you choose to believe me and work with me, I can help you achieve everything you want. He must be a monster. Only monsters would keep trophies like this. Taken and prize, token and prizes from victims. It's how Kovacs caught so many animals. They couldn't let the past go. Obviously, I'm obsessed with reliving yesterday. Like Vite, a sailor hearing the sirens' cries, pulling him towards rocks. Wow! Ugh! Last, and last time you came at me, I was confused. Drunk. Impossible. The comedian! This time I'm ready for you. Right. What's funny right. about him? No, 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 no. That was just the name he went by. But yeah, he should be dead. He's the guy who, you, whenever you saw that smiley face with the little bit of blood on it, that was his. You ate my breakfast. Yeah, I did. The fact that he just admitted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we get a bit more about new theories on concentration of metahumans in the United States raises questions about secret origins. The Superman theory continues to be hotly debated as a second a second metahuman secret origin is tied to U.S. government. Blah 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 blah. Um, in picture, uh, basically, we also, but yeah, the whole thing is explained now. This is causing everything to escalate to a point similar to what it was. In Watchmen, mm. Superman takes stand against metahuman outrage as the world reacts to conspiracy theories on their origins. Did we see that's Lois's article. Yes, <laughs> that was. I sound so weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, there's the flashback when Vite had beat, beat him up and threw him right out the window. But apparently, somehow he served, uh, and he transported back and land oh, to the DC world and landed in the water. Hello, Blake. Doc, what am I doing here? Where the hell is here? <laughs> Wish I had a goddamn camera. That stupid look on your face. You, I'm certain you'll find my bewilderment amusing, Edward. Lots of things are funny, Ozzy. Strong glass. Shame would have been poetic. You know, after the way you... Uh, yes, Edward. I think I understand your point. And, meow, turning the lights off. That's your big move? Come on, Ozzy. I've never been afraid of dark. I thrive in it. You too. Clearly, John has something to do with this. Where is he? What's he doing here? Ah, ah. People called me sick. But you, everything you did... I kill you now, and they'll give me a goddamn medal. You were never <laughs> one for medals. Death changes a man. So what now, Ozzy? Nowhere to... <laughs> Hang on, girl. <laughs> He's a smart man, all right, and very skilled. Except, a boom! Dang. You I thought he would be indestructible. No, you've, you've trespassed into a very dangerous place, Bruce Wayne. Where's Max 2? You, yours keeps changing. Who are you? But yeah, that's the thing about Rorschach's Max. It's made out of a special material that's actually meant to constantly shift and change, like a Rorschach eek block test. Is Not it a, supposed to change depending on his emotion, or does it just it's change? It's random. It's just random. Oh. Not enemy. I am Rorschach. Came here. Ate breakfast. Yes. Found cave. Elaborate. Questions and question sanity. Motive. Could be killer or collector. But need help. Help for what? Not from here. Someplace else. Millions died in an insane peace plan. Family died. His fault. Shouldn't be here. Should have killed him. Hate him. Who? King of heroes. King of lies. Created invader. Poison minds. Vite. Wait. Easier to explain. What's here somewhere? No, that's fork. Wrong pocket. Yes, here it is. Kovacs journal. Please, read this. It was, it was all over Vite's face. He has no idea where we are. Jersey, maybe. 
Never should have joined this freak show before and before he told us where our boy is. Now we're God knows where, doing God knows what. And totally, baby. Bites the blind, leading the blind. I love leading the blind. I mean, what the hell are we, where the hell, and what the hell are we supposed to do to find into Dr. Manhattan, even if we find him? What are we going to say? Kill us now? I ain't pregnant no more. That dope pretending to be Rorschach, he's lost his mind. By the way, they're in the same um, carnival from the killing joke. Joker? From killing joke, yeah. Yeah, I bet so. How'd you figure that? Because of this? Um, since it was a circus, and then you're like, so, and I'm like, oh, it's a killing joke. <laughs> yeah. And this ain't Jersey. Come on, lover. Let's find that drink. What page you on? Four. That's all. It's been a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Take a shower. Clean up. Yes, clean up. Not only fight. My hands are dirty, too. And basically, we find that more things are building up. And then we cut back to, again, that Carver Coleman movie. Again, he does actually become important here. We're seeing that, like, um, this one guy. We'll find out who he is, but he's also important. But, yeah, everything is just rising. Again, tensions are constantly just more and more increasing. We didn't see a little bit of an example of that Coleman movie. Then we see, like, her. Told you, don't need room. This room this big, not comfortable. Yes, well, I've taken to your every, into you to every guest room we have, and I'm afraid this is the smallest in the manor. May I get you some tea or um, wash your clothes? No tea. Clothes are fine, but yes, you made those pancakes. Good pancakes. Happy to whip some more up some more. If you think of anything else, pick up the phone and press the intercom. And as Master Wayne said, make yourself at home. Home. And feel wrong, out of place, surrounded by you, uh, you will marble and Cl and Clive Christian. Room costs more than the city block I grew up on, but need to clean. Shook hand with Vite after what he did. Need to wash it off. Wash it off. He's dead. Uh, basically, yeah, we're back to the movies again. And then, yeah, soon everything's just starting to blow up and everything. We're seeing more war you know, stuff going on. Then we see Marionette and Mime showing up in there, and they think they're part of the Joker's game. And this is the Joker's turf. The Joker? Who's the Joker? What'd she say? You don't all need to stand up. We just want a drink. You disrespect the boss like that? I'll cut a smile on your pretty face. What the shit? He's pointing at you. Ha <laughs> ha. You for real, douchebag? You know, maybe I'll carve the smile somewhere more interesting. What do you say? <laughs> the gun was real. That's a good twist, isn't it? Was it not ever supposed to be real? No, we didn't know. We thought I it was it real. And <laughs> he has invisible knives. What? Yeah, I see? <laughs> Pulling out the knives now? Oh, baby. I want to play, too. Yeah! <laughs> You've got pretty eyes. Oh! Oh! All I see is red. He clearly slides his face right through his eyes. Yeah. That was a trip. A toast to finding our boy. Whoop! And to stretching our legs. How about we stretch him some more? What do you say we find this Joker? Damn! Ouch, my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we see the things are just, again, constant escalation. That's the whole point we we bounce around with all this. We're also seeing this new this uh, movie going on. This movie, it's kind of the equivalent to the um, comic. There was a comic that was going on during a lot of um, Watchmen. At the same time, it eventually kind of paralleled what's going on. Mm. Oh, but we find out the young boy, Reggie. All right. Uh, Mike, it's okay. You're safe. Where am I? You slept for almost 24 hours. I read your book. Read Kovac's journal? Yes. And I know where Dr. Manhattan is. Ran a, te a temporal anom I ran, I ran the search for temporal anomalies. And I found one in a place it's called Arkham Asylum. Any idea he, why he would be there? Maybe forgot. Lost mine. Don't know. And it turns out, though, it's a lie. He's trapping him in there. Huh. <gasps> 
I'm sorry, but you belong here. He thinks he's insane. Kill you for this. Cut out eyes. Wait. Apologize. Open door. Please let, let me out. Let me out of here. Let me out. Dick move, Batman. Seriously. Dick move. This is why nobody likes you. But we find out the murder of, of what happened to the guy. Um, and it's later revealed that um, that Nathaniel um, and Carver Coleman, we find out later on that he was killed by his mother. Why? Because he was a gay man. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, we get a bunch more of all this stuff. And um, I love those details. Come on, come on. Oh, and more pancakes. And yeah, he's now in um um in prison and everything, surrounded by a bunch of the um that guy got zebra <laughs> yeah. tiger markings. What the heck? Yep, Ian Dummer, watch you. They'll go for you. Won't be as gentle as me. You sit with me, you eat with me, you be with me. I protect you. I protect my property. We find out that his parents was the psychiatrist that interviewed um, Rorschach, trying to make a name for himself, but it eventually caused um, um, caused him, his family to fall apart. Oh. But he doesn't know that. He was out in college when it happened. Oh. Yeah. And... Um, and we basically eventually find out, you know, as far as he thinks, he thinks his family's di- his parents died in a loving embrace. They didn't. They were ready for a divorce and everything, but then the squid monster got transported on them. And that last moment, his father grabbed his, you know, his mo- you know, the mother and everything. So it was in that last brief moment, but beforehand, no. But yeah, we find, again, we just get a bit more about his story and everything, how um, he was, me- you know, um, Everything's starting to go to that would go to hell as he's talking with his parents. Again, he doesn't know exactly what's going on. But it turns out he was there when it happened, but he was at a distance where it didn't kill him. But part of the side effect of the squid attacking was it sent out a psychic blast that would basically drive people a bit insane. So it affected him. Oh. And so he's seen weird things like the squid eye and everything, and it's just causing him to eventually put in the loony bin. And then he soon meets up with um, a guy who was another hero, the Moss. And um, eventually, uh, I, I see what I want to see. And throughout all this, we're seeing him trying to regain his mind as we're getting everything. Um, we're, we're starting to fill in some of the gaps between Watchmen and now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we see as he grew up and everything, and now he says he's in Arkham. Oh, D- Jane Doe, I remember her. We see a bunch of others, you know, Mr. Freeze. And we're seeing as he's talking with, um, the Moss was one of the heroes until he had a mental breakdown. Oof. Yeah, and soon things are just getting worse and worse as he's dealing with more of these insane guys. Um, he's going through Kovac's journal. As um, as Walter is actually helping, is going over things. He knows more than he lets on to Reggie. And eventually, um, they start to get out of there, and soon, a uh, Byron, sorry, Byron, and but unfortunately, because he's it's a big hero being like a moth, the flames call to him, and thus he walks to his death, giving him so much of they have so much of Rorschach stuff. And like, dear Reggie, I hope you forgive me for not having the fortitude to continue on your journey with you, but mine lies elsewhere. When you remember me, I suggest you picture the first time we met. See a funny old man flying naked into the darkness of the early morning, if only to make you laugh. Although, as I've explained, clothes would have weighed me down too much in the, with those wings. I cobbled together. I don't know if these tickets are still good, but I was... Um, invited there one and i know it will not be an easy journey you have a certain you have been searching for a true for a true 
no, and as far true north to your compass for as long <laughs> as I have known you, or south as it were. I pray you reach your destination and find the truth you are looking for. But I caution you because I care about you. Everything that brought us together may be a sting of random events or it may be a part of a grand design, but the truth is relative. What you see is all that matters. Your friend now and forever, Byron. First time held mask. Smiled at me. He eventually made his way south to where um, Vite was. Ozymandias. If you're here to kill me, I think I might thank you if you if you make it quick, whoever you are. Obviously, you're not Walter Kovacs. And I can't imagine you are a friend of his either. I'm Rorschach. Your clothes are wet. You're suffering from hypothermia. I'd, I'd also guess you probably haven't eaten in a few days. We both are troubled, you see. I have a growing a gross on my frontal lobe, and and unfortunately, the only person I trust to operate it, uh, at something like this, is myself. Basically, he explains it to him about his um, you know, about it all. Um, mistake. You kill par- my. You killed parents. And, you know, he's ready to kill him off. I. But I am the monster. Oh, God, what have I done? What have I... I'm sorry, I, I saw the light too late. Light? Like, Re- Reggie, maybe you prefer to... I call you John Doe. I'm Jane Doe. I've been in your mind for a few days. That's a Saturn girl. Oh. Yeah. She got stuck in the past. Unfortunately, people think she's insane, so that's why she's in Arkham. Oh. Do we find out about if they let over her? It looks like I underestimated Mr. Doe. Oh, yeah, that psychiatrist? That was Batman Disguise. Yes, you certainly did, Master Wayne. As I stated, I wouldn't have left someone like him alone in Arkham. He knows too much, and we don't know enough. <laughs> and we see Why'd all you kill other- that fly, Robert? Ah, <laughs> See all these other details and everything about it was from um, Byron to um, his sister, and yeah. So, what are you thinking so far? Interesting story. Yeah, I'm digging it. Good to hear. Better than Danger Girl. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Little joke, people. Oh, look at that! Was Joker. <laughs> He's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this man's lucky. He fell twenty stories, and he ended up, uh, and all he ended up was fracture, uh, fracture rib, and pulmonary contusion. Other than that, he's perfectly fine. God must have been looking out for him. You believe in God, Doc? Twelve years of Catholic school, but any of your patients have one of them near-death experiences or seen a light at the end of the tunnel? Quite a few, actually. And quite a few, actually. So there is a heaven. <laughs> yeah, they're talking through about everything. And eventually, um, he wakes up. Um, oh, thank God we live in Metropolis. Superman's the only thing you can believe in anymore. There is no God. Gets himself out. Um, he's flatlining. Shit, shit, shit. Call that doctor. Forget it. You can downgrade the five alarm fire. What? It's sensor just came loose. That's all. Yes, I pulled them loose to bring you in here so I can get the keys to my cuffs. Now, please, sir, take off your uniform. Oh, oh, we see a bit of hawk and dove. Woo! Yep. Where is Boobasis? What the hell is that? I think it's a a carnival. A what? Cat with pointy ears. They made statues of them all over Egypt for luck. You should have seen what the thing's owner was wearing in in our squad car. Do you ha- and so you do have my clothes and my cat. I like them both back. Mm-hmm. Well, like the headline chief, call and call me Mr. White when you're yelling at me. I never use the term metahuman. I know I changed it. Why? Changing things is my job. I realize it's the buzzword of the day, but this man being a metahuman hasn't been proven yet. You're playing in the paranoia cell papers and get clicks. God help me. Look, Lois, he was wearing a goddamn cape, and I needed to cut through all the noise. But the world's fate, the world's fates in, Sp- in Hispanic society is falling apart. You want to change that? Get out there and prove them wrong! Is it too late to ask someone else to be John's godfather? Ten years too late. 
and Mr. White's not the problem, Lois. As we then see, um, this was an, another fire star and firestorm. Uh, Mikhail Arkeden, and he was the, uh, there, and this was a secondary firestorm. And he looks pretty cool. Yep, he later became known as F um, Fozar. <laughs> and um, yeah, he's basically trying to say there's proof behind all of this. Meanwhile, we see that um, they apparently got out of Arkham. Of course, they did. Saturn Girl and uh, Rorschach. I can't really wear a leather. It's outlaw when I came from. Where do you come from? Oh, wait. Leather's fake. This is fine. Don't even know real name. Mine? Not important. But you can call me Saturn Girl. I don't know Sally Jupiter by... And you don't know Sally Jupiter by chance. Only from what you know. Huh. You didn't respect her very much. But her daughter, you thought she was cute. What are you doing? I can read minds. Then don't need to explain mission. Why help me? Because I like helping people. Need to find Manhattan. So let's go find him. Any ideas? Oh, yes. We're going to need a great big light. Now, we're then seeing stuff in, um, in Russia. Um, as you know, we see a bunch of the other Russian heroes. Rising Star, um, Fozar, Negative Woman. So many of them. And we find, and then we also see how um, Rorschach got out of there. Anyway, yeah, yeah. No, no, I take it back. That wasn't um, Rorschach that got out. This was Johnny Sunder. And he's 102 right. years old. I was wrong. Oh, my gosh. He's a fake. Yep, Can't we... Robert. Read between the lines. Never. <laughs> but again, we see a bit more about from that movie. We didn't see Johnny Sundar. If you remember who Johnny Sundar is, he's the original owner of the Thunderbolt that mm -hmm. Jakeem Sunder would use. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's trying to make his way, um, you know, make his way out. Uh, so he's searching for his magic lamp because he's one of the few people who remembers the Justice Society. Yes, Boobertus, they're gone. Perhaps now, John. Well, you must be him, Adrian Veidt. I've read all about you. Ooh. Hey, don't move. I'm not here for you, so it's best you don't see me. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't kill these poor bastards, but I'm looking for the nut job who did. And uh, and that did. So one and one of two things are going to happen now. One, you're going to try and arrest me or shoot me or some shit, and I'm going to have to slit your throat. Or two, you don't see me. Have a nice evening, boys. <laughs> no, please, please, please don't. Ah, ah shit. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Take all the money. Take all of it. T and take your money. Your pills don't have Nixon on them. What? They're useless to us. What are you talking about? We don't want your funny money. We want your boss. We want the Joker. His crew tried to hurt us because we were wearing makeup in one of his clubs. Apparently, that's a death sentence. We'll have to an He'll have to answer for that. Where is he? I don't know where he is now. No one does, but he's got a plan tonight. We're, uh, we're all meeting at the la light. What light? That one! What do you want in my world? I don't want any trouble, but it appears that all you have to offer... You like you know we know you're in there. Come out with your uh, uh, with your hands on your head. Protesters now in the south is marching towards Gotham City Police Department, calling for the immediate arrest of the Batman. Blah, blah, blah. We need air support. Do you copy? Rorschach escaped. Of course he did. But we have more immediate concerns at the moment. All right. Yeah, we see that. We see that um, firestorm because unfortunately it's revealed that professor stein was one of the people involved there actually was a secret hu superhero superhuman you know, project oh no yeah and um um professor stein was one of those firestorm was created through that project but as far as he knew it was an accident but um Oh, yeah, we see um, Jack Ryder's been missing in contact. He's about to be killed off when he's saved by Black Adam. All <laughs> this stuff going on. I know about the chaos and deaths you brought to your world, Mr. Veidt. You slaughtered millions, creating an illusion that paralyzed the planet. And you could swoop in so you can swoop in and save the day. It's called Hero Syndrome. But the panic you've made, the plan you've set in motion, it stops now. Oh, oh, I see. You think I'm responsible for the chaos on your world and your city. You do realize the protests below are for you. Out of surgery, now recover. 
I don't, I, I've read and seen enough to know you're tripping over your own capes, playing a game of tag while the world around you falls apart. You've put these people through hell. We see stuff with um, Lex and Lois, and she want, he wants to talk to her about the Superman theory. Like, what do you have to do with the Superman theory? Me? Come off it, Lex. Your hatred of Superman and his friends is no secret. You've been the loudest voice against metahumans. And naming something as, su as spurious as this after Superman is right up your alley. It is. Yes, that's all very true. But I've got nothing to do with the government's agenda. In fact, I'm against it. The, f uh, I, the truth is I've been digging into it myself, which is what made me a target for one of their metahuman assassins. That, and that wasn't my headline. I'm happy to share everything I know about the superhuman theory. Uh, 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 Superman, uh, Superman theory, Lois. You and I can work together on exposing the truth. And we could do that by starting at the top. The top? Basically, they're saying, like, at some point, it was a member of the Justice League who helped out. Oh. Yeah, the, like, the person who created these metahumans was a member of the Justice League, which is Stein. Oh. Yep. Now we see Johnny Sunder make it to the JSA headquarters, but there's some guys in there. Help! Help! Your world is worse, worse than mine ever was. Look at the sheer number of the lost in the of you lost in the narrative of good versus bad, wandering aimlessly in the fog of self righteousness. You're so busy putting these supervillains into prisons with revolving doors, you've ignored the world's real problems, and now you're caught up in this vicious cycle of entertaining yourself. Stop it! They're police. You cling to a simplistic morality based on on pulp heroes. Oh, I wonder. Is that why John came here? To observe the futility of your colorful life? Or did he come here believing he would blend in? Isn't this lovely? I hope they have fireworks. I weaned my world of, of gasoline and oil. I cured famine disease. I negotiated nuclear disarmament. Earlier today, and Kondok's mystic champion, Black Adam, rescued an American journalist from the clutches of King Cobra. For the last month, he has attacked this growing terrorist group across Kandak. But today, the event took place 450 miles north of Kondak in Syria. In acting outside of Kondak, Black M has broken the international law he had previously agreed to. And um, basically, like, I turned the world upside down. I did whatever I had to try and save it. And yes, I failed. But what have you tried to do to make this world a better place? Right, and Batman's knocked out. So I gotta say, I do like that um, what Vite is saying. It's basically the whole idea of they try and protect the immunity, but like humanity defend for himself. Mm -hmm. And um, Vite is the type who feels like, no, we should con um, control humanity's destiny. And meanwhile, we see um, Johnny has found the Green Lantern battery. I found it. And he starts getting beaten up. Oh. P please shut up, you stupid old man. And Rorschach shows up to help him. Mr. Thunder, he's, he's, oh, don't you worry. They were all going to overdose tonight anyway. Everything evens out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun and romantic. You two, you've caused me a little trouble tonight. Hey, boss, I'm monologuing, but you got to see this. And tell us, explain. Look what we found. What is Lantern? Again, the whole point of this is supposed to be saying everything is happening parallel to each other. Okay, what? Cleo. Yep. Oh, we see Metamorpho, Doc Dread, Element Girls, Stingery, Firestorm, Killer Frost, Lady Clayface, Man Bat. So much of this, um, have been, uh, some of these people are coming out saying they were connected to this, to this um, theory. Yeah, I mean, that all of these were created by the government, or at least many of them were. Mm. Oh, is that the Chinese Superman? Yep. I need to get that book. What's it called? Like, I'm pretty sure new, it's a trade paperback. Super, new Superman. New Superman. What's the new, just? Is... New Super Hyphen Man. What the heck? Hyphen Man. Okay. No, 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 no. Super with a hyphen man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. You know, like Spider Hyphen Man instead of Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know it was called a hyphen. <laughs> yeah, or Dash or whatever. I called but, it Dash. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we see Black Adam. I mean, he's been trying to give a um, sanctuary to the superheroes. Um, uh oh, remember that? Yeah, that was uh, quite a stir. I can't believe I sold that for super cheap. I'm an idiot. Yes, you are. 
I didn't know, man. I didn't know. Now we're at issue six as we're going to get the origins of the mime and marionette. I think I sold it for two bucks. <laughs> yep, we see a young girl with her uncle, I believe it was. No, 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 her father. It's her father. Um, and basically, her, fa- her father had done stuff to help out um, the mafia for money. I and knew it. For, yep, and she's knocked around and every he's knocked around right in front of her. And meanwhile, we see with the Joker, it's all like. Um, on. isn't that right, Marriott? We costume characters wear ourselves on our sleeves, but I can't have you, uh, you and Cat got his tongue cartwheeling around town and slaughtering my men like pigs. It makes me look bad. My boys and girls are clearly marked, meaning no one touches them except for me. Our mistake won't happen again. I would hope not. Normally, I would have already carved off your faces and stitched them into a sun hat, but I'm in a good mood. The bat. At last, is mine. There are so many things to do that I don't know where to begin. A few pictures, maybe. We are so extremely, sincerely, utterly, and ext- sincerely, utterly, and extremely sorry, you clown-faced fraud. Apology not accepted, you horrible little thing. I wonder, did Harley send you here to kill me? Ain't my birthday is coming up. <laughs> is that him? <coughs> oh Christ, he's looking this way. <laughs> He sees us. I assume you're referring to me. Or are you worried about Batsy here? No need. He's been paralyzed for the next several hours thanks to my own special blend of nerve toxins. I call it relax a bat. You told us you knew where we were going, Brian. Freeze a shit for handwriting. I can't read his directions. You mm. tried writing you tried writing with these gloves. <laughs> it ain't easy. <laughs> Me, me, it's me. true, though. I've written with gloves before, and it's like, it's so irritating. I just take them off. I'm like, who cares if my hands freezes? I need to write. Mm-hmm. And Trent, we see a bit more about as she's growing up and everything. Um, Papa? Yes? The new store, in the new store across the street. I think there's a boy over there. Is there now? Yes, definitely a boy. All right. I don't know. Well, why not go over there and say hello? I have a better idea. Does a little performance with the puppets. Oh, I see. You didn't want to read the Spanish part. Okay, you read it. Gosh dang, why is it so blurry? Él es un hijo. Él es tu hijo. Él es un pijo raro. Uh, no digas eso delante de él. What is it in translation? I thought the translation was on the bottom. Nope. Oh, no, that's not the translation. So, él es tu hijo, that's your son. Él es un pijo raro. What the frick? <laughs> Something that's rare, probably, most likely. No digas, like, don't tell me. Eso delante de él. Oh, so it's mostly, like, uh, trying to counter argument with what they're saying. Ah, so they're just arguing with each other. Yeah. Right. Oh, hi. Um, hi. My name's Erica. Who are you? Hello. I know. I know. The shop leaves a lot of people speeches the first time they see it. This is my dad's store, the Puppet Place. Come on. You can come. And come on. You can come in. I'll show you around. So apparently, he's been a mute his whole life. Let's put a smile on that face. No way. Ah! All right then. I'm in a generous mood. Apology accepted. You two. Which of you wants to go next? As in tattooed by Mr. Jitters over here. Pass. My gun. <laughs> hey, mine. Let's teach them how to wink. Ah! Oh! oh no. Oh my. Don't lose your head, boys. That's why. And that's why they call him the Joker because that that was a bit on the nose. Oh, it's like let him go. Oops. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm joking. Well played. Come on now, everyone. Why we, we we don't want to be later than we already are. Got no strings. Da 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 da. There there are no strings. What are you so happy about, Erica? And she gets bullied. Oh. Pretty badly. Even so by a girl did... too. <laughs> yeah, beat her up. I'm just kidding. Uh so uh I back to the Spanish thing. Um they were like, Oh, that's your son that's your son, and he's a weirdo. That's what it was. Ah. Uh, and he was mostly like not happy that you know he's like we're in like this is in front of the store we can't talk like this. Gotcha. 
Oh boy, and and then he gets uh she gets saved though by well my and by mime. So they've been friends since childhood. You two coming? Where are we going exactly? To the big important meeting. Why it's right up ahead. It's and right behind this curtain. Or in this or this the doorway to third desk. Ha ha ha! I'll go first! All this talk about the Superman theory has gotten everyone's tights in a bunch. So they're huddling up as the Legion of Evil or the Secret Society of Doom or whatever name de jour they've landed on this time. <coughs> it's all a bit melodramatic if you ask me, but that seems to be your thing too. Let's wheel Batsy down there and surprise them. As we, everyone's talking, we get a little hint about stuff that's happened, including Sanctuary from Heroes in Crisis. Mm. Basically, all Who's the, the guy villains- with the big head? Oh, that's um Hector Hammond from Green Lantern. Oh, from the Hal Jordan. Oh, yep. My gosh. Yep. Look, it's oh. a it's a female version of a uh, male version of Mystique. <laughs> uh, no, no, that I don't remember who that's supposed to be, but that's not who it is. I got blown up in a nuclear bathosphere. I'm not some government puppet, so they're arguing about which is true and what is not. The Judge of Owls um, speaks. Yeah, they never went anywhere with the Judge of Owls. Huh. I do not like this Riddler costume. Yeah, it's, it was the original costume. I know, but I've always liked the suit. Sophisticatedness. Ladies and gentlemen. Not him, not now. This is my moment. I interrupt this rather repetitive affair to bring a smile to all your faces. Allow me to introduce my new friend, the marionette. He's in this world, Rundeval. There are so many of them. And her loyal mute, the, uh, uh, who are you again? As we see more of them going out, then all of a sudden the cops come in, and um, like, who's this? It's family opened the store across the street. Right, right. You're little Marcos from uh, Maize Glass. Your family sure are, and spells maize funny. I was sorry to hear about your mom. Heard she took quite a fall. Marcos, I think his stepdad's calling him. Oh, that explains a lot. Yeah. But yeah, then they hand the puppet over. See you next week. Turns out they're hiding stuff in there. <laughs> you pronounced right. my ease correctly, though. I did. Oh. Like, who is that? Who's the Batman? I mean, this time. What do you mean this time, Harvey? How many fools have you dressed up like the Batman peddled around, Joker? <laughs> oh, this was, he was a ty- this is the, the typhoon is who the blue guy was. Oh. And he gets killed by the Bruh. comedian. That was pretty funny, not going to lie. <laughs> I know. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Mime? That's right, you crazy son of a bitch. Say cheese. What the fuck? Gigantodox. Well, shit. Here we go. Ah, boss! Let's go, Woo! Jesse, man. We're leaving. Yes, now. You stop right there. Yeah! Fire in the hole! <laughs> what a perfect day this turned out to be. <laughs> Stop, stop slowing down. You're not going to draw off his fire again. Do you understand? That's a goddamn comedian. It sure as shit is. Why are you stomping? Mime, we're not staying here. Mime? And we see uh, with the post and the, all that going on. And then, oh, they beat him up because they're, um, my kid loved the leprechaun. Which one did he put in? in which one did he put it in this time? How about that clown? You kidding? That'll give her nightmares. Cannot do this anymore. Not in front of my daughter. The boss bought and brought you into this country. He owns you. He owns your daughter. Tell me, tell us which goddamn doll it is, old man. Oh, night night owl. Ain't that the stitch? So yeah, they've been putting money hiding them in the dolls. Dang, I need to get a doll. Like, uh, uh, what do we like? Uh, we do like. What happened to your mother? You never told me. Did you know? You had to have known. Oh, and what should we do? And they make it back. Oh, he ca- hung himself. Bro. Mm-hmm. How could you do that to your kid? Because he was, he was freaked out. He um, well, could have left. Okay. <laughs> but then she kills the cops. Or. Well, well, anyway, he, uh, well, she killed one. Uh, yeah, they killed both of them working together. I guess hey, this is a g- and compelling origin, isn't it? Yeah, look, look at the way she's strangling her n- his neck. I'm proud of her. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's like you feel bad for her, but then they become such psychotics. 
which is so weird. I'm like, it was for good that you were doing this, and now you're doing it for evil. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, I thought he naturally had a white hair on his, a white streak on his hair, but it looks, uh, he just dyed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, you're not going to die so I can run. We are in this together. Do you understand me? You're the only thing that makes me smile in this dark place. I only, I want, I, the only one I want. The rest of the world can go to hell, but I can't lose you. Oh, and we see uh, them, you know, having sex and that, um, her son being taken away, him being upset they lost his son. I want to find our baby. That thing about you freaks, you don't cover your tracks too well. I only need one of you breathing. Tell me where Adi Mendez is. So which one's it going to be? Or should I pick? <laughs> <laughs> oh joy i like you too you make me laugh i was just thinking i bet the comedian knows where dr manhattan is dr manhattan who's that i could use a good dentist it hurts when i smile i can't believe i laughed <laughs> ah, that's so good <laughs> oh gosh we get more oh. about the mutant affairs and we find out turns out typhoon was created he just didn't know it. We see that other stuff like um some of the other humans, like um the creeper with Jack Ryder or um uh, Are you David... in Jurassic Park still? I mean at Jurassic Park, Jurassic League. What about Jurassic League? Are you still reading it? Yeah. Uh, like, I forgot who Giganto was. Giganta. Giganta. Gi Giganta. Giganta. I was like, I never know which which way it's pronounced. So, like, I see Giganta, and I'm like, wait, isn't Giganta a girl? But it's like, dragons don't, dragons, dinosaurs don't have, like, boobs or eyelashes. Mm. So you can't tell. And I had to be reminded by Batman when, when he called her a she. And I'm like, oh, that's right. It is a girl. Mm -hmm. Mothman. Killer Moth. Yeah, uh, nope, nope. What? But yeah, basically we find out long ago what happened with, you know, like the origin of the Green Lantern, the original Alan Scott Green Lantern. Alan Scott, okay. Genie and Lantern, like Aladdin, don't sound so skeptical. The light will help you find Manhattan. Basically, he's trying to find the Thunderbolt. See you, Thunderbolt. I said the magic word, Herm. I always love when, when he does that. Like, Herm. Herm, herm. Um, his, uh, uh, but yeah, we then find, again, we're seeing all this other stuff with the, um, um, with the other, you know, these other heroes and everything. Again, everything is continuing to escalate still. As we're, again, people are still arguing about um, whether Typhoon was part of this fake news theory or not. I don't know and I don't give a shit, all right? So now stop following me. Everything's going to be fine says the bubbly blonde while her, her world falls apart around us. Not that I don't mind meeting new and interesting people. Rorschach, but who are we? My name is Irma Ardrian, but I've been designate, in the designated Saturn Girl. I'm a telepath from the 30th century. Didn't mention that last part when we met. Where did you find her? Arkham Asylum. Of course you did. We see stuff in Libya. Everyone's there, like super and Superman's wife serve as an intergalactic representative of the Legion of Superheroes, sent here to help cleanse the time stream of an unknown anomaly that threatens them. Reconsidering my suggestion of bringing them with us, I would imagine pain's lasting longer. I don't have much time. And I don't know how much time I have left. Maybe none at all. Maybe asking John to save our world was a futile idea. Not futile, Adrian. My father believed in best outcome until N was going to save Kovics from himself. Never gave in to the dark thoughts. Yes, he did, but he doesn't know that. Hmm. All right. What's Cat doing? We're getting close. You said Cat was Cat was Compass. Yes. I cloned this boobatist from the remains of the original one who had been disintegrated with John. She's getting John sent from them, from that lantern. Where are we going? Where are we going? I don't know, but I do know the outcome. There's no need to worry, Johnny. We're, look at your journey for, so far, Rorschach. You were led to Arkham Asylum by the Batman and locked up, Fe and later freed by this woman who claims to be a hero from the future, and then brought and brought to a man claiming to be a hero from the past. Coincidence? 
footage of this. Uh, you must know this by now, mm -hmm. Rorschach. When it comes to Manhattan, there are no coincidences. Because if I don't see a smile, I could make one. Eyes up here. There we go. Hi there, handsome. The hell am I? I call it my fun house. The Joker cave. They they peace de la resistance. Uh, you caused quite a stir among my brethren, you half-smiling fool. But I give you five gold stars for that shot to Eddie Enigma. Riddle me this. What's green, red, and missing a kneecap? <laughs> There's so many to choose from. Don't be shy, my dear. My home is yours. Let's have some fun. Uh, get a room, you two. Your sincerity, yes. sincerity is sickening. The mine and the mar marionette. <laughs> How the hell did you invite rope you two idiots into whatever the hell he's doing? And more importantly, why? We're going to ask the questions, Blake. You died in the past, yet here you are, have an age a day. Tell us your secret. Coconut oil, pomegranates, a naked blue man. Why don't you uncup me and sh I'll show you yourself. Ah! Oh, honey, that's the easy pain. Tell us where Dr. Manhattan is, and I'll only drill into your arms. Who knows where or when that asshole is? Listen. All Doc asked me to all Doc asked me to do was take Vite's cat, okay? So I've been having a little I, I've been having a little bit of fun with all that's all. I'll show you fun. What baby? What is it? Batman. G God, I wish I had some popcorn. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Mm -hmm. She's picking up the trail. It's growing stronger. Where are we? The next stop on our mission, Mister Sunder. I, I'm Mr. Sunder, but I need you and Santa Gern to stay here. Why? You've helped us more than you know. But I have reason to believe you may be in danger if who we're searching for is inside. And I'm going to need the lantern. But my genie, it's okay, Johnny. You'll find the Thunderbolt again. It's history. <laughs> oh, Joker. Is that a flamethrower in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Oh, come on. Somebody laugh. No time, no time for laughing. Ah! Don't stick up on a man like that, Bogart! Rorschach, I was wrong about you. Yes, Batman, you were wrong about a lot of things. Everything, maybe. I suppose that comes with being a cornerstone of the ever-growing problem your world is being swallowed up by. Well, Vite and his mad dog finally show their faces. You guys go sightseeing while my and I work? See? Look who we found. Hello again, Edward. What the hell's so special about that cat? Shit! What's wrong with it? Nothing. She's working perfectly. Booba test sees John's temporal fingerprint on this lantern and on you, Edward. And she feeds, and as she feeds, John should feel a strong pull to her, not unlike a mandate. And to deny it will prove painful, even for him. Where are you, John? Show yourself! I can make this hurt more than it does! Hello, John. I know who you are. Whoever you are, put some clothes on for God's sake, or at least for mine. What's he doing? Uh, he's naked. Oh, right. I, I'm sorry for summoning you like that, John, but I've come to talk. That's all. <sighs> Trippy. So let's talk. I had no choice, you understand. You know our world's in trouble. I've come to ask you for your help. I failed to save it from itself. Now you're the only one who can. Um, uh, you've come a long way for nothing, Adrian. I'm not going to back. I'm in the middle of something. You've t you, you're thinking I've once again turned my back on humanity. That's why you asked Laurie to come with you, to remind me. She refused, but she led you to them. Erica Manson and Marcos Myers. I'm at Rockefeller with Laurie listening to, their, and to her complaint about the security cameras installed in our living quarters. As I remove them, I'm told there's a bank robbery in progress, one mile away. I arrive to dispatch the criminals. You believe I am hesitant to use extreme forces when I learn Erica Manson is pregnant. But I did not spare you because you were pregnant, Erica Manson. I saw what your child would do, and I chose to save him. What are you talking about? What did my child do? Which child? What do you mean, which child? Oh, yes. Sometimes I forget about what's been and what will be. You're pregnant again. What? <laughs> John, your pleading will not change my mind, Adrian. And I'm disappointed in you. I was. I am. I will be. Manhattan. Hey, someone going to untie me? John, need to listen. Vite isn't the same man you do. I was going to kill him myself for what he did. 
but found him. Changed, dying from cancer. Cancer? Adrian does not have cancer. No, look again. He's sick. Let me talk to John Rorschach. He's only confused you. I, no, I, you have cancer. Rorschach, hold on. You have cancer! As we hover over, uh, over here, you tell him the truth, Adrian, because you know I will. I don't have cancer. I never did. Why? Why, why would you lie? Because I need your help. Needed your help. Don't understand. Oh, Reggie, you see what you want to see. And what you wanted to see, what you needed to, was that the man responsible for the death of your parents and the man as it afflicted you was overcome with regret and remorse. I knew everything about your ever before you ever stepped a foot into that room. And I needed someone like you, Reggie. Stop calling me Reggie. I am Rorschach. Rorschach, please. You saw what you wanted to see with Rorschach, too. You believed you were taking up the mask of a friend of your father's. But Walter Kovac was never your father's friend. If Brian Lewis hadn't kept most of your father's notes from you, you would have seen that. Brian was trying to protect you from the truth. That Rorschach broke down your, potter, your father's po undying positivity and left him a shell of the man he was. His relationship with your mother deteriorated into nothingness. She left him, Reggie. Your mother and father didn't did not die in a loving embrace. They died despising one another. No. No. Is it true? Is it? It is. Why are you here, John? At first, I thought I might find a place among them. But something happened as I looked forward. I saw a vision of the most hopeful among them, heading towards me, now hopeless. And then I saw nothing. Two men were playing a game of chess. Both were shot and killed before the game was finished. What are you saying, John? Did your vision end? Who did you see? Why bring us here? Where the hell is here? The Revival Theater in Hollywood, playing a midnight showing of Carver Coleman's last film, The Adjournment. It's April 1954. I stand on the set and watch. It's June. I see Carver Coleman's body on the floor. His head caved in. Carver Coleman was once full of hope, too. But I was wrong, Adrian. Everything ends. What's that got to do with anything, John? We've talked enough. Goodbye. John, wait! <laughs> we need to call him back. He has to listen. Listen listen to me! Why couldn't you leave me alone? You won't mind if we borrow this. <clears throat> you don't realize yet. You're still wearing the mask of the man who destroyed your father. Whatever we missed was a doozy! That's enough, Joker. Hush now! Daddy's speaking! I should have done this months ago. Kill you! A little constructive criticism, if I may. Touch! Don't touch me! Get the freak! We're not done with you, Blake. Let's go celebrate, lover. We're having a baby. <laughs> did you enjoy it as much as I did? And put the yeah. Dead. Rorschach is dead. My God. What, and what happened? I guess you could say I learned a few things the hard way. Wait. Your thoughts. Your mind. I can read it. No. That's not what's supposed to happen. Then you know, happen. You can't. <laughs> what have you? <laughs> John refuses to call. But with the knowledge I have now, Bubatis, I realize I could save more than our world. I could save this one too. I could save everything and everybody. I have a plan. He now. But you don't have to beat up everybody. <laughs> he feels like only he can save the world. Now we're seeing that um, Reggie is completely broken as he sends a letter to Lois. And now we're seeing also um, Rorschach. We saw it was Superman. He charges at him, punches him, and then there's nothing. Nothing beyond that moment. I do not see tomorrow. And I wonder, one month from now, does Superman destroy me or do I destroy everything? What the heck? That's really just one punch? A Superman's angry, full and angry punch. Gosh dang. We see the creation of um, the cat. Oh, Kitty. Oh, I thought that was a Liam Sharp's art. That is. Ah, I knew it because it was good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is good art, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'm just playing. I'm just happy that I'm going to be getting his uh, art book probably this month or next month. Right. Oh, that's a cute kitty cover. Kitty. <laughs> yes. Yes, this one will do nicely. It's a crime, Clark. And there was a break in at the White House. They're figuring out what's going on. Um, she gets a letter, very similar to the ending with um, um, of Watchmen, when they find you know, that there's another letter there. 
we see things are just escalating more and more as um, Firestorm attack is attacking um, Fozar. And, you know, and like he wants answers because he's claiming that he was one of them. We see negative man, a negative woman trying to help out. Then sing, um, Firestorm overreacts and turns everyone to glass. He can do that? Yeah, he can transmutate anything. I thought he just threw fireballs. <laughs> no, he actually can transmutate anything from whatever he wants. As long as he can reverse it, that should be fine. Yeah, uh, except he doesn't know how to. He did that in an emotional reaction. God dang it. We, well, we see uh, super, uh, super, Superman meets up with Black Adam. Hello, Superman. Welcome to Contact. As you can see, Contact is a place of peace for all, human and metahuman alike. We have no secrets, no one to hide. This is Standstorm. Superman, hi, I. You, you're really here. Standstorm, he's a boy. Nabil Azama from Domo Syria. His family was killed in the Civil War. His younger sister gassed by the Assad, the Russian puppets. He used his power over the desert sand to free thousands of children from enslavement, including himself. He brought them to Kondak, where all are welcome, even Firestorm. This, that is why you're here, is it not? I hear the same rumors you do, that Firestorm fled the Kondak. But he wanted to talk to him and want to understand what happened. That's all. And Firestorm is not in Kondak. You shouldn't believe everything you see on the news or read in the papers. You cannot trust the Russians or the Americans. Have you asked the president about the Superman theory? It's a lie. It's truth. There are metahumans throughout conduct who were a part of it. Things must change, and people with power to change it must act. Though you may not be among them, because, let's be honest, Superman, you are a glorified firefighter in a cape. Careful, Adam. I didn't get my workout in today. You become a problem when you break the agreement with the world and you made with the world. When you cross borders in other countries and take justice in your own hands, me, how is it any different than what you do? I'm authorized to do it. And more importantly, I don't kill people. Stay in your own country, Adam, for your, for your sake, for the world. When you find Firestorm, Superman, tell him he's welcome in Condon. Tell Firestorm he will be safe here from the governments and their puppets. Tell them all. I've been looking all over the planet for some place Ronnie could have go to avoid detection, avoid hurting, hurting anyone else. I don't think he ever left Russia, Clark. I already know what you're and you're thinking. You're thinking. Thanks, Lo. Be careful. No return address. Hmm. Sees all the stuff about the um, JSA. We find out that Firestorm took one of the kids, and he's trying to undo it, but he doesn't know how, and the professor's not telling him. Like, I can transmute any element. I've been able to do since the professor and I could fuse together. But my powers, powers never been able to affect anything organic. Until now, I turned them to glass. I don't know how, but you're trying to change this boy back? The professor says I can, but you did it once, Ronnie. Maybe it was an accident or was triggered through stress. Maybe your powers could be evolving. I don't know, but you did it. You can do it again. And sure enough, he does. Oh, I thought he was going to kill the kid. <laughs> Superman! Prove it. Yeah. Superman! Is he really all right? He's really all right. Everyone else in Moscow will be too. It's going to be okay, Ronnie. Thank you, Superman. The professor says <laughs> thank you too. And, oh, there's Putin! As basically, um, he's trying to give this whole thing because he believes the Superman theory as well and that's causing more escalations. Even saying, like, um, we are at war, but then Superman shows up. Superman. Welcome, Superman. Thank you for coming. I assume you're here to help. I am. You could help us finding Star Firestorm. Turn him over. Although your tone is understandable, Foza. Remember, Superman speaks not for America, but for all people on this planet. Thank you. I'd like to explain to you, to everyone, there's still hope. And he starts to explain, saying that what Firestorm did was an accident, and he's trying to explain it all. Like, But Batman's trying to stop him, saying, what the hell are you doing? Clark, it's Bruce. You need to stop talking. The keep your mouth shut. Don't pick a side. The demonization of metahumans is wrong. The demonization of any group of people is wrong. Unfortunately, Putin then feels like we have proof. Foes are dust. Firestorm is an American agent, Superman. This was an attack against the people in Russia. And for you to try and suggest otherwise in the presence of those he killed, and they try to say he, um, he, restore, you know, he can turn them back. He brings the kid back saying he can fix it, but they start shooting him 
and starts shooting at the people, saying you're killing them. And they're trying to stop him. Everything's starting to go crazy. And then something causes um, uh, Firestorm to overreact and explode. Oh like, but no, you, so he doesn't explode yet. You think he's going to explode. Sorry. And like, like Superman, I, I'm okay. It's not Firestorm. And then blue Manhattan energy explodes. But it wasn't Manhattan. It was Ozzy. What the heck? Trust Chatter. They see people think Superman caused it. The only people who don't is, of course, the uh, the planet. Basically, now this has caused everyone to feel, you know, to feel like Superman caused this. So now we get more stuff from John's point of view. We finally get an explanation of what happened. As we did, it's just called crisis. Everyone has found out that he's on the on Mars. Everyone's heading there because they've traced the energy there. How much longer? Good question. Uh, and it basically feels like he soon, any day now, is going to be happening. Five days and three hours ago, a detonation on Earth creates a tachyon fog, obscuring the immediate past and future. Looking at the present and its immediate surrounding has been like trying to read through a kaleidoscope. What are you hoping to accomplish? No, that's not now. That's later. As the tech and powder goes behind and begin to fade, I'm able to probe into the past, following them to their source, Moscow. Basically, they think that, you know, Firestorm caused it all. Um, Superman is hurt. Anti-Superman sentiment continues to grow. Um, you see what you want to see? That's, again, escalation even more so. Oh, and um, we even see, like, I should throw this failure to the wolves. Arrogant and very dumb. I would advise against that one. No one wants to go to prison. <laughs> Saying that to Trump, because that was clearly Trump. Oh. We, yep, we see um, Bruce waking, waking up and everything. Um, we then see Professor Stein. Like, Professor, you get the number of the truck that hit us? It wasn't a truck, Ronald. A detonation of some kind. One made to appear as though we were the source of it. So, yeah, they were framed. We see they're on a ship heading over there with everyone else to stop Manhattan. Dang, so he w- they didn't even turn him into glass? That was somebody else? No, no. He did turn him into glass. That was him. That big blue explosion oh. was not him. Bro. But, yeah, everyone's heading there. They find the piece of that, you know, the flooring because they were there earlier. They find a – Jessica finds a photograph. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Um, Guy. Yep, there was guy. There's guy there. Kind of creepy, ain't it? Um, Lex shows up there. Did you get the drive I sent you? Lex sent it. I have no intention of harming Superman at the moment, Lois. Uh, we should be flying home to turn ourselves in for what happened in Moscow, Ronald. Not marching across Mars to fight some battle. Like uh, we've got to do something. To which you could tell by tell Stein is hiding something. But he says they need Firestorm. They're all there. They make a big field around that section so they can talk to him. And um, no one wants to hear the right question. No one ever does. Vixen! Yep, they're all there to confront him. They're protesting a power they fear. I don't understand. Excuse me. I was talking to Ronald, Ray- Ronald Raymond six minutes from now. The tech ants are muddling things up. You're looking for answers you don't know the question to. Shocker! The guy's a lunatic! Hey, Blue Man Group! Before you launch into into why you're messing with Superman, let me tell you about his friends. We're the biggest group of badasses this side of the Milky Way. We've made the rule of apocalypse lick the shit off our boots, shoved the universe eater back into the sewer he crawled out of. We've beaten armies of the evil ring slingers looking to enslave us, burned up Batman from alternate realities trying to torture us, and spanked the super brats out to destroy us. Uh, guy, that's enough. From your mind, I can see that you're confused. Only for the moment. In five seconds, you will broadcast to everyone that you and the, mo- the thought you read most clearly. My vision, final vision of Superman. You think he's going to destroy you, so you want to destroy him and all of us with him? You know, you all saw what John did, right? This freak thing's at the end of the universe. Shit, that's enough for me. Talk is over. Let's put some underwear on this guy. Yeah! Wait, is that it? Christ, I didn't mean to kill him outright, but he had it coming. Hey! Where'd he go? That ring. I'm curious. What's inside of it? Ah! 
I must admit, not knowing what is and what was and will be. It's enjoyable. And this energy, emotion, consult, and manufacture into the power of the ring. I find it difficult to affect. Then they start to use magic. You believe you're wielding magic. I must perform a deeper analysis, but I see this power you harness is in reality the scraps of the creation, like the random errors in computer code, discarded and forgotten, left to be picked up and used by those who find them uh, find themselves discarded and forgotten. Magic. <gasps> Dr. Feels... Fate! Come on, Dr. Fate! Well, like, isn't he like a Dr. Manhattan himself? Uh, sort of, but like, it feels good to still learn. <laughs> I come in peace. So yeah, basically Lex is there to help out as he's um as Manhattan is dealing with all of the heroes, way too easily, and, and way so very easy. Cool. Yep. Like, but then he takes Ronald back in time to reveal that yes, Stein actually did intend to do this all. His mother died years ago, and his relationship with his father is strained. He's in desperate need of a parental figure. Yet in some ways, he reminds me of my own son. I've groomed him well. Not like that! <laughs> and I shall become one. Still not like that! Oh, thank goodness. I wouldn't what? have thought it from the first one, but the second one, I'm like, that's kind of weird, buddy. What better way to learn more about these metahumans than from the inside? No, this is all a lie. No, it's not. Even hope decays. Interesting. And eventually we see um, Captain Adam, the one who's probably his equal, Get beat on, get clear. For sick it's Superman, Captain Adam is the last thing you'll ever see. Blow them up. Really? Captain Adam one... is the equal? Not Dr. Fate? It, Captain Adam, remember, they're the, that's the alternate equivalent of him. No, I didn't know that. I don't know much about yeah. Captain Adam, to be honest. I'm oh, sorry. But yeah, today is the day we begin to heal. Our world has been under assault by mistrust, fear, and extremism. There is no singular villain behind it. We've all played a role. Oh, uh, everything. But then we see Manhattan. He reforms himself. And I, uh, I, what are you hoping to accomplish? Knocks them all out. As we see, um, Black M shows up with them all. As um, he's making a move. <laughs> and we see Firestorm. We find out. Yeah, it was all true. Bro. And now we're going to get more about what, hap what happened with John in the in-between years. We see more with Carver as we see it all. Him, we jump around with everything. Um, like, it's nearly 2 o'clock and he hasn't made it through one take. He tells his director it's a headache. It's June 1st, 1954. Carver and Coleman reads a writer and threatened to expose his darkest secret. It's March 19th, 1952. The 25th Academy Awards are held at the RKO Pontage Theater. It's the first ceremony to be televised. June 9th, 1954. Carver Coleman's body lies on his living room floor, blood pooled around his caved-in skull. It's June 13th, 1954. I'm standing at Carver Coleman's grave. I feel nothing. We didn't see him talk with his mom and everything. Son, I don't even want to protect your lie, but it's going to cost you. I don't want to do this here. As we see, all, you know, again, him shooting a movie, we didn't see stuff with... Um, the heroes, you know, because they lost, but the Green Lantern's down, they're starting to um, suffocate, but he allows them to breathe on Earth. We see him jumping around, and he says he enters the multiverse, April 18th, 1938. He arrives there as we follow Carver Coleman, making his way into acting. And, um, but then as they start to beat him up because he of vagrancy, he arrived. And he was that Carver was the first one he met. Um, we see that, like, I need you all incapacitated for reasons that will become clear. Who are you? My name is John. Are you an angel? No. I don't have any money. You don't need any. Hi there. Table for two? Yes, thank you. I don't understand. Why isn't she? I'm shifting the liquid, the light's color frequency around me. She's seeing what I want her to see. What? What? Can, what? Now, what can I get you both? Um, I love a bowl of hot soup. We have some chicken noodle made right here from scratch. That'll be all. That will be all for now. Thank you. I. It's April eighteenth, nineteen thirty-eight. I feel like walking through fog. I try a simple exercise to look three minutes into the future. I'm unable to. I need something to focus on. This man. I see. Basically, then we see him starting to focus on you know the different um through this guy bits in history. Like I don't understand. 
You're right, John. I got the part right alongside Gary Cooper. Can you believe it? It's called Real Westerners. How did you? Having a hard time, and I thought you haven't seen from heaven. My guardian angel, maybe. But you're not an angel. Are you God? We see him jump around. It's a hit, John. An absolute smash. They want to make another Nathaniel Drake picture. Otto, uh, Otto per, um, Perminger is asking for it. Uh, and, 19, and so then we see nine years later. Um, I had to act surprised when they read my name, Best Actor Carver Coleman. Anyway, I got a party to get to 54, April 18th. I won't be on this world for one year, and one year from now. What does that mean, John? It means just that. No, I want details this time. You can't do this to me, damn it. For the first time since 1938, I sit here alone. Never thought I would have find... Basically, he was able to use that to skip around. Then soon he realized he realized it was Superman. We see the green, the, the, the old green car and everything. Left tall buildings. We see it was, everything was Superman, but then... Um, he sees himself as Alan Scott. He sees them form and everything. The Justice Society. Everyone is there. Everyone is formed together. Um, Green Lantern has never heard. But then soon... 1940, Green Lantern has never heard of Superman. No one has. Where is he? As we see, then things have changed. I can even ask him, like, have you ever heard of Superman? Superman, no. Basically, in other words, crisis, a retcon happening as the history of Superman shifted. Mm. As we're seeing, all the time Superman's history has changed has been, like, it's 1956. Superman is seen in Metropolis for the first time. 25 years earlier, the winds changed on the farm on the Kansas farm. Superman is no longer first seen in 1938, but 1956. No, it's 1986. His arrival, uh, his arrival on Earth has shifted forward again. His arrival changes again and again. As and again, we see, and again. <laughs> and we see stuff from now. We see the Secret Origins version. I don't understand this universe. Son, you did the best for us. We see, yeah, uh, we see his parents die. We didn't see him alive. He's starting to realizing he's realizing soup the retconning, the changing. I be, I begin to believe I've misinterpreted what this universe actually is. I look to the future. Following Superman's trail of influence, how can one man affect so much? Even one thousand years from now, as we see the Legion. But then we see um he ch- he decides to experiment. As he then um, he changes things by moving um, the lantern just an inch away, causing Green Lantern and uh, Green Lantern to die and the Justice Society to fall apart. And then he decides to experiment again and kill off the Kents. <clears throat> and uh, he says, I, I, "Without his parents or the Legion, Superman grows more distant from humanity. I understand him better. I relate to him more." It's been five years. Like <laughs> uh, it's five years ago, and I feel the power of, of, of changing Superman is intoxicating. I have altered the metaverse and in turn the multiverse. One year ago, the metaverse became aware of my hubris. I know what you did. Whatever you did, they'll stop you. As we see this up with um, with Wally, I realized that the metaverse is not passive. Uh huh. Um, as yeah, he says it's fighting back and everything, and that's what everything is going because he dare experiment with it, it's falling apart. He then's like, John, are you okay? John, what are you doing here? I do not know. It is June 8th, 1954, right when he died. Um, hold on, just a sec. <laughs> But yeah, we then see him get killed. Uh, it's murdered. His mother and her associate ransack his home, taking what catch and valuables they can find. The, co- the housekeeper burns the letter protecting Carver's secret. The killing is never solved. It is May 1971. I have ended the war in Vietnam. As we see all this stuff happens and we see him die, and he seems like, on a, um, to this universe of hope, I have become the villain. Uh, uh, as we then see, yeah, we see all the stuff about was Carver. Like I say, this is interesting that he just, because of his curiosity, he ended up causing more damage than good. I mean, what do you think about that? Mm, I don't think it's predictable. 
But I think it's to be expected. <laughs> yeah. Especially from what you can understand about Manhattan, right? Yeah. But yeah, we then see, um, yeah, Batman stopping them from firing off nukes. Everything's just escalating more and more and more. Um, Wonder Woman's getting attacked. The League are still off on Mars. Lex is trying to get things um, handled, you know, figure out what's going on as um, Superman wakes up. Um, and again, a lot of the stuff is being pushed by Ozzy through subtle manipulations. Um, he then meets up with um, um, Johnny and Irma, a Saturn girl. And then he um, also we find out, you know, he finds one of the photos, one of John's photos of him, of him and um, his first love. And that's a photo he keeps on having with him. As we turn, find out that Lex was there when Wally returned. And he found a bit of that, that photograph. And then they soon realized there was a whole bunch of photographs everywhere somehow left behind at so many different incursions. And they keep on being a copy left everywhere. And um, basically, like, by order of the President of the United States, you are, I'm asking you to come quietly. I don't want any trouble. Lower your weapons. Please. Right, Superman will stop you. Superman doesn't even know I exist. Um, basically, yeah, he's like, your head is full of lies. You come here from the future to warn Superman about something you don't understand. I will tell you one truth. You're never going to see Superman again. You leave her alone. Don't you touch her. And I'll tell you a truth now, Adrian. You'll never destroy Superman if that's what you're planning. Oh, I'm counting on him surviving whatever comes his way. He's actually making um, the pancakes and, and everything. Because <laughs> um, Alfred's going to go find him. Oh, he's having all of this um, illusion that he just feels so tortured by what Ror Ror Rorschach has done. Um, but yeah, Alfred's there. He brings them the food, but he's like, we need Rorschach. Not Rorschach. Wait, please. We want to help you. Aww. Aww. Um, we see more with uh, Marinette and uh, mine. As like my original plan was to find John and convince him to return to our Earth, so that he might, and so he might save it from nuclear annihilation. But I knew after our discussion before he disappeared, John would never listen to me. So I set my sights on them. Their son was born in a prison hotel. I promised to reveal where he had been taken if they came to me was to confront John. I pulled the proverbial strings. I required them because of their past experience with Doctor Manhattan. I. Uh, uh, John was responsible for their incarceration. Everyone believed he had hesitated to kill Marionette because she was pregnant. But I knew in the past John watched a comedian shoot and kill a pregnant woman and had done nothing. John revealed to me over the years that he had seen Marionette's child's future. The boy would be adopted by a couple and he would bring incredible joy to the woman who had been very important. Yep, he was a, she was adopted by um, Silk Spectre by, and um, Night Owl. I had hoped John seeing Marionette, John would be reminded of the family he chose to protect by granting Marionette mercy she most certainly did not deserve. And you broke them out of prison? Not me, my other puppet, who was easier to manipulate than Marionette and mine. Reggie Long mistakenly believed Rorschach was a friend of his father, Dr. Malcolm Law, because Byron, Byron Lewis chose to rip out the page of Dr. Long's report detailing the dark turn in his, in his relationship with Kovic. As the new Rorschach, Reggie came after me, blaming him for his parents' death. But he found me dying of cancer, a facade I maintained until John exposed the truth. Reggie believed I was overwhelmed with guilt and shame over the tragedy of New York. He gathered Marinette and mine, and once I reignited Night Owl's ship, you turned it into a time spear. Whatever you, I mean, whatever you want to call it, locked on to John's signal, and as the missiles fell around us, we made our way to your universe. And to, and to our uh, our way to this universe. Poor Reggie. He had no idea he was wearing the mask of the man who destroyed his parents. Working for the man who manipulated him as Brian and Brian unknowingly did, coming to the strange colorful world. If it, it was here that I realized John had journeyed to someplace special and horrifying. A world of extreme impossibles to reconcile. One full of hope and at the same time despair. A schizophrenic society overrun with superpowers of, and costumes. He refused to help us, obsessed with an impending confrontation with Superman that would lead to his own destruction or his universes. 
but it was clear why John had ventured here, to be with his own. No. He refused to help us, believing that a confrontation with Superman would lead to his, his or this universe's oblivion. So I came up with a new plan, one to save both worlds. The world's belief in Superman was holding it together like string and chewing gum. In order <laughs> for things to change, they must hit rock bottom. If So what if I could turn that world against Superman? In my research, I discovered a Superman theory to be, in fact, partially true. After Superman's arrival, the U.S. government had begun experimenting in an attempt to create its own metahuman. These comfort and confidential programs were led by Professor Martin Stein, who later caused the accident that bonded him and student Ronald Raymond into Firestorm. Raymond's physical and psychological profile revealed a deeply flawed and insecure human being, a, a, who, uh, one I could manipulate, I could manipulate as Stein did. After I leaked this information to Firestorm's Russian counterpart, Fozar, I replaced Ryman under the increasing pressure from the media. Uh -huh. Ultimately, Superman went to Moscow, intervened, defending Firestorm in hopes that he might save lives. To which then it turns out, yeah, they caused the detonation. But I wanted the human to human who would no doubt instigate to quickly learn the explosion was not Super Firestorm. The heroes of this Earth would then trace its energy not back to me and Bubatis, but to John, resulting in a battle that removes all of Superman's metahuman allies. The stage is set. The, uh, so yeah, uh, so basically they're trying to get the president out of there. As Superman's there to confront him, I'm still catching up, but I know enough to know that it's gone too far. You have one chance to stand aside, Superman. Uh, I've seen the future. It exists because of Superman. And yes, well, Superman is so important to you, to your existence. You let me, and let me ask you one thing, Superman girl. Does Superman remember you? No. No, what's happening? I was theorized that you're no longer part of this timeline. You just didn't realize it. Long live our worlds. Qu oh, quick quine, old man. You're from the past, and the past won't be erased. As the fight happens, and soon, there he is. It's Superman. It is me. It is us. It is the world. It is time. It's time. As we see, I'm finding all these different copies of these images. I totally Including, forgot what I was going to ask you. What? What was it about? I don't even remember. Was it about Superman, Manhattan? No, um, it was about... Ozzy? So, Guy Gardner's not getting his ring back. No, no, he does get it back. John just oh, looked okay. at the energy from it. Okay, so but you yeah. just had to recharge, I guess. Yep, here's the final issue. As we see, I, I was wrong. Everything ends. Nothing lasts forever. Not hope, not me. Who are you? I am the one you're going to destroy. Or I'm the one who's going to destroy everything. What are you? Superman! You must answer for your crimes against the Russian people and face the parents and children of those who lost their lives in the Moscow massacre. Markovia stands with them, Superman. Do the right thing. Come with us. You have done so much good in the world, Superman, but that cannot excuse the role you play in the attack that left scores of my people dead. Fozar, Superman will be held accountable, but conduct will be the nation that does it. Fight not for a government that wants to control you because it fears you. Join me in my nation and be free. I would never betray my home world. Homeland. Okay. Homeland, sorry. <laughs> there are innocent people in the area. Since when has that ever stopped your country? Ouch. Ooh. As everything is escalating more and more and more, it is now. I am calling a question with two answers. I cannot see through the barrier of blackness. I only see Superman. Dang, is she okay? Who? Like, he just uh, heat visioned her, bro. Uh, right, right through her energy. It's her energy, so she'll be fine. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, but see, Alfred shows up saying, like, told you, leave me alone. Told you, leave me alone. Where would and where'd we all be if I did that? I require your assistance. Superman does. You're the only one who can help us find Ozzy Mandeus before it's too late. You don't know. You don't know what the, and whose face that is. Yes, I do. I've read his journal. His name was... Don't say his name! Right. Monster's name! Monster's face! Now their eyes were closed. Now they're open. I see the truth. Fighting will not help. Your world's going to end like mine. It will It will unless we do something to save it. Iran calling Superman a war criminal. Look at the math. Do you see what I see? 
I see pieces of a rock floating in space. I see no future. I see no hope. It is lost and it cannot be found. Whoa, that is great. I'm trying to look at everything. Isn't this awesome looking? Super cool. Where's Wonder Woman? Uh, no idea. My father used to wake me up. But yeah, he's basically muttering him, but he's going to soon decide to turn Rorschach into something else. And hold on a second. Oh, we're going to keep that beeping for a while. I didn't even hear anything beep. Oh, now I do. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. But yeah, everything's going on. And so yeah, they just saying like, uh, like I, want, I know you tried to warn me. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. There's nothing we can do now. Mommy, shut your eyes. Superman. And whoever you are, help these people. I don't help you. I've already seen it. What are? Ah! I can't do this alone. Less than four minutes now. He remembers second, 1985. If he remembers all that from the past, mm -hmm. um, you know the way out. And what do you expect me to do? Write your article. Inform the world. Tell them our very history has been altered by a force beyond our universe. To accomplish what? Panicking people? To tell people I was the one who uncovered it. I want the credit for my work. Now, if you'll excuse me, vibrational emitter, I have to meet uh, some. I have a meeting with someone. I'm pulled over. You wish. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> uh, uh, and that everyone, every, uh, so you believe what Dr. Manhattan does, that everything's already preordained? I read Kovacs Journal too. I know who John Osterman is. Know who Rorschach is then. Know why I can't wear that mask. Briar and Lewis, Mossman, my supposed friend in hospital, lied to me, told me my father was getting through to Rorschach. But truth, Rorschach was getting through to him. Destroy my father. My mother died alone. See it. I always see it. You see a monster when you look at the mask, but you can t and take it, change it, make people see something else. How can you stand or not do anything? My world once had a chance at peace, but after I left it, it lost it. It fell into war. It's burning even now. I see nothing but darkness. I am the one behind the changes in your life, the loss of your of mentors you've never known, friends you've forgotten. More specifically, I'm responsible for the death of your parents. I changed your life, Superman, out of cold curiosity. Will you destroy me for it, or will I defend myself despite my sins? Superman charges and punches. Foes are behind him. Uh -huh. You would defend me? I don't know what to ta think about all this, but I do know that right now, right now you have a choice to make. You talk about me destroying you or you destroying me because all you see beyond this is nothing, but maybe there's a third choice. Who is she? She, you're creating these false photographs with every step you take. I assume they're important to you. And Jenny, she was. Maybe the darkness you see, maybe it takes everything you have to save your world. Maybe you make that choice. Yes, I understand now. Everything ends. Began with a child. The metaphors forms around the one and only son. It's too dangerous for you to show yourself to the world. You, they've never seen it. Basically, we see all this happening, but in this case, Clark actually made it over there and saved his parents. Hey, let's go. Yep. Inspired by the heroes of the past. Because uh, okay, we, okay, we have to find out, like, he also let Green Lantern survive. And because of that, instead of saying, they'll never see anything like you, Clark, if they did, a lot of them would be afraid. Instead, when I was a boy, my father told me the stories of the Justice Society of America, wartime heroes who made us feel safer and inspired us to do our part. But that was decades ago. Completely different t topics now. Now, things that the Justice Society inspired Superman to actually take up the mantle early. Because the Justice Society exists again, so does Superboy. And because Superboy exists again, so does the Legion. As the metaverse reforms, time catches up. As we then see, um, he finally catches up with the Thunderbolt. Her ring. The old man. What are you doing, John? And the future and the past are free. All uh, right. You remember us. Don't, and now, don't you, Cal? Irma. Sorry we're late. Well, better late than never as we get the Justice Society and the Legion. Unfortunately, it's Bendis' Legion. All show up. 
<gasps> Two of the Wildcats. Oh my gosh. Both, yeah, both of them. Who the heck is that fat guy on the oh, left? On the left. Uh, oh, that's um, Bouncing Boy of the Legion. Uh, oh, that's oh, so look, cool. Cyclone. Oh, Cyclone. Star Obsidian, Girl. Jade. Colossal Boy steel? and Adam Smasher. Um, where? Um, Behind no, that, no, no, that's Striped. That's Striped. Striped. Oh, that's right. Shoot. How did her I dad, know? Her I dad. so disappointed. Oh, my dad. God. Oh, Midnighter. Ooh. Or Midnight. Or Dr. Midnight. Dr. Midnight. Oh, these are so cool. Yep. And like, you got it, pal. Serves you right, you big bully. Mm. Like, I see tomorrow. The man of tomorrow. And for the first time, I am inspired. It is April 18th, 1938. Metal wine that Superman lifts it. Basically, it goes over all the history, revealing how everything keeps changing, shifting. Then it says, year 2020. Superman's timeline is bombarded by a reckless energy of the all gods, once again warping the metaverse. It is July 2nd, 2025. A crisis unlike any has uh, seen. One that they will call time, and that they will call time wrap and masters erupt. But in his wake, Superman is revitalized, and his greatest allies return. Basically, goes through all these other possible future, possible future crises that keep happening. Earth 5G, um, and all that stuff. Um, Superman goes on a quest to find Bruce Wayne's lost daughter so she can stay Bruce's son. The secret crisis happened. Agree, Behemoth stronger than Doomsday. But his timeline shifts again. Superman appears to public for the first time in 2038. Then, uh, but it seems like um, the Kents are um, pray for a child. But it's another one where he actually has a sister. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. I'm Colin, a son named Colin, and they have a sister, a daughter. See, you know, like basically saying how Superman's timeline is always going to change. But yeah, they all show up, and it's like, I did it again. Did what exactly? Clear everything you need to clear Superman's name was on your ship. Yes, I know. I left it for you to find and give to his wife, no doubt. It's all gone according to plan. Don't worry, Bubatis. It's only John. Let him summon us. I know, that damn blue light, and we were having so much fun. I know what you're, you've done, Adrian. I would not expect nothing less by this point in the game, John. Once I learned about your vision of Superman and Superman himself, it was a rather simple initiative. If I couldn't convince you to use your powers to save our world, I was certain he would. <coughs> All I had to do was arrange the confrontation. So let's go home. Everyone lives today. <laughs> Comedian. Except maybe you, Vite. Goddamn asshole. Now for you two clowns, zaps by Lex. I don't use that language often myself, but it's appropriate. You goddamn asshole. What did you do? I'm negating the vibrational frequency that brought you here. I'm sending you back to wherever you came from. No, Manhattan, you son of a bitch. This can't be how I end. As he's back to fall into his death. <laughs> Fight. I, for, I, we all get what we want, Reggie. I get to die a hero. John gets purpose. You get revenge. Don't want revenge. Want justice. Want to stop the bleeding. You live. Pay for your crimes. Right in prison. You're not Rorschach. No. Rorschach is me. Erica Manson, you and Marcos Myers are not coming with us. What? We were promised we'd get our son back. We want our son, damn it. You have a daughter on the way. As for your son, my plan is that you'll see each other again. You, he will need an anchor, as I did. An anchor? I, I see the light now. I see my final purpose. It, uh, my anchor sits in the diner, nerves trembling. And in, it is my one second after my annual conversation with Carver Coleman. I'm not going to be here a year from now. What does that even mean? I'm sorry I didn't explain myself better. It is, it is I who will not be around. I don't understand. I haven't been a very good friend, Carver. But I can see so many futures now. Make a good choice. Don't be afraid of how much you feel. It is not who wins or loses. It's how you play the game. That concludes it. As he basically said, facing blackmail, Carver Coleman came out to the public before the release of the final Nathaniel Dusk film, The Adjournment. Shunned by the studio, he became a recluse for years. Losing his home, he almost ended up back on the streets. But Carver Coleman returned to acting in the mid-60s, going on to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in Fred Coe's A Thousand Clowns. And in 1973, he was instrumental in getting homosexuality removed from the American Psychiatric Association Diagnostic Manual of Mental Disorder. Carvin Coleman died in 2005. 
His partner of over 40 years at his side, his personal slogan has been adopted by activists around the world. Don't be afraid of what you feel. This is Alicia Malone for TCM, and thanks for watching. So in other words, thanks to John, he actually had a good life now. Mm. The Justice nice. Society shows up um, as they're trying to investigate the Superman theory. As someone mm -hmm. who survived Joe McCarthy's Inquisition, I ask all of you for patience as we work to uncover the truth. Everything's starting to finally be regained to normal. He meets up. His parents are alive again. Um, Mime and Marionette are out and about. Um, White had the right idea, but it can be approved upon. Um, everything is finally being happy as we see John is back in their world. And he actually fixes everything. Rewinds it just enough. As he's following everything that's going on. And we find out that John took their son. Why? <laughs> because he's going to raise him. Raise him and make him his successor. He actually, for what time he has left, raises him and shows him everything. And then he finally, um, we then cut to um, Laurie and um, Dan. You know, um, Silk Spectre and Night Owl. As, mm -hmm. they show, as their daughter runs over. Oh, hi. Can I help you? I'm sorry to bother you. A friend of your mom's and dad's brought me here. He said they know, they'll know what to do. My mom and dad are making pancakes for lunch. Do you want some? My name's Sally. What's yours? John calls me Clark. And that's the end. So, what did you think? That was so much fun. It really was. And I think this is our longest one. Dang. <laughs> But yeah, though, I mean, what did you like about it? To be honest, I completely forgot about uh, the mime and the marionette. Until they show back up again. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, that's right, you guys. I think that once line. John shows up, I, that's when I like the story best, and when John finally shows up. That's a good one. Uh, to me, I, I'm like... Like just the big battle, like near the ending. I'm like, oh, I, I, you gotta love that. Come on, you do, you do. <laughs> but it feels like this is the whole point. Of this was to have it be that Watchmen caused the world, you know, people to bring the wrong lessons to superheroes. This was a case of pushing back and having it be the DC hero can actually purify the Watchmen world. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. And Too I bad think nothing went. Oh, well, yeah, I'm watching sure. because of death metal and all that. But yeah. I got to say, though, overall, though, this is still one of my favorite comics because it is a Superman story through and through because Superman was so important to it all. And Superman doesn't even do that much when you really think about it. Mm -hmm. It's the idea of Superman. It's what Superman represents that fixed everything. I knew Superman wasn't going to punch him. I'm like, that's not Superman, okay? Yeah, but he saw, but given what has happened with the new 52. That Superman probably would have. Oh, yeah, no doubt. But because this was the rebirth Superman, he wasn't as likely to do it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, though, I mean, I personally, this is, this is one of those comics I give a 10 out of 10 on all regards. Can you say that again? <laughs> I said, this is where I give a 10 out of 10 in all regards. 9 out of 10 for me. Yep. And yeah, so overall, I mean, do you plan on getting your own copy so you actually read all the details? Or you already have some copies, but you don't have it all. Do you plan on getting the rest? Yeah, I think I'm just going to rather get the individuals or just buy the trade paper back. I'm waiting to buy the Absolute Edition so I can have it next to my Absolute Watchmen. What's the Absolute Edition? The big books. What makes it absolute? Is it just more pages? No, 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 no. Hold on. That's why. Ah. Compared to a normal trade. Okay, I gotcha. So, yeah, though. So, this was a long time coming. There was a lot to go over, but... Thank you all for everything, and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.